The following is a special presentation of ABC Sports. Stuttgart, West Germany, an ancient city that traces its origin back to the 10th century. And while it has retained much of its old world charm, it has become cosmopolitan, a center of industry, and home for nearly one million people. Today, Stuttgart extends its hand in friendship, serving as host for the World Gymnastics Championships. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Adamley, and working with us are gymnastics star Kathy Rigby McCoy. And today the women's all-around title is on the line. And Kathy, like so many times, it seems the champion should come from either the Soviet Union or Romania. And I think Romania's Danielle Silibas is especially hungry for this title. She's come so close to this world in Olympic gold, and each time it has eluded her. At the 88 Olympics, she took second to Soviet gymnast Elena Shishinova in one of the greatest all-around battles in gymnastic history. At the European Championships this spring, she met with the same fate. In the final event, Svetlana Boganskaya, her rival today, scored a perfect 10 to take it away again. There is also a very strong American presence here in Stuttgart, that presence led by the dynamic Brandy Johnson. And Brandy has won every meet since the Seoul Olympics. She's currently ranked fourth in the world, and today will be a great opportunity to cement her reputation. While also working with us, the newest member of ABC Sports broadcasting team, Olympic gymnastics champion in 1984, Bart Connor. And there's another interesting story here in Stuttgart that's developing, Bart, and perhaps you can explain that. Well, there's a controversial new rule this year, which is making the competition very exciting, certainly, but at the same time, it's totally at the expense of the world's best gymnasts. Under the new rules, no scores carry over from the preliminary rounds, which means that a gymnast who had a terrific lead coming into this session, that lead gets wiped out. On the other hand, it's a terrific advantage for someone like Brandy Johnson. She had a rough time in the preliminaries. Under the new rules, she has as good a chance of winning a medal as anyone. And the gymnasts assembled here in West Germany, so close in talent that the title may be decided by hundreds of a point. Now the women, of course, compete in four different events, and the all-around title will go to the gymnast with the highest combined score. This is 16-year-old Svetlana Boganskaya of the Soviet Union in the uneven bars. And those long arms and legs, you would think would be a detriment, but she really swings well, high on her release moves, and really uses her height to an advantage. She just streamlines everything. Coming up is one of the most difficult dismounts in the competition. Full in, double back, great exercise. Well, Kathy, as you mentioned, those long lines certainly are very beautiful on the bars. Look at the position on this straddled toe-on-toe-off. Now, here comes the full-twisting double. It's a double backflip with a full twist in the middle, and she pulls it all the way around. And Boganskaya, like she has so many times before, sets a very high standard for others to shoot for. Her score, 9.95. Next up, America's Brandy Johnson competing in the vault in the all-around competition. Each gymnast is given two vaults, but they only score the best one. Brandy had a 9.9 .9 in her first vault. And a great place to begin since it is one of her best events. Brandy was fifth in this event at the uh, Olympic Games in Seoul, Korea, and she picks up where she left off, getting a helping hand from her coach, Kevin Brown. The trickiest part of this vault is keeping good form, as Brandy does, and look at the height and the position in the air. And for Brandy, the second time is the charm in the vault. Not perfection in the eyes of the judges, but pretty close, 9.937. ABC's Wide World of Sports is brought to you by the American Express Card. Membership has its privileges. By Kentucky Fried Chicken. Taste our best at Kentucky Fried Chicken. By Extra Strength Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. And by new Dandruff Control Perk Plus. Dandruff Shampoo Plus Complete Conditioner in One. Ready to compete in the floor exercise, Romania's Daniela Silovas. And let's go back to the Olympic Games in 1988, Seoul, Korea, where Silovash and Elena Shishinova, the Soviet Union, engaged in perhaps one of the great all-around battles in Olympic history. Now, Silovash held a slim lead entering the last rotation, but after scoring a 9.95 in her vault, it was out of her hands. Shishinova, well, she scored a perfect 10 to claim the gold medal by the slimmest of margins. And Daniela, well, she could only look on in dismay. Shishinova has since retired, so here at the World Championships, 
Daniela is at center stage again, hoping to win that all-around title that has eluded her. And even though Daniela's had trouble in the all-around, she is past world and Olympic champion on the floor exercise. Wonderful combination tumbling run there. Now the judges are placing much more emphasis on dance and rhythm. They want the gymnast to maintain that artistry while still performing all those difficult moves. Daniela first became interested in gymnastics when she was six years old watching who else? Daniela will need to muster up an awful lot of strength for this double back tumbling run. A little overturned, but the judges won't take off much. And she should be happy with that exercise. This is a terrific dismount for Silly Vosh. It's a tuck double back, tremendous reach. Now keep in mind, this is her first event of four. She seems to have a little more energy than she planned for. Judging by the smile on her face, she is off to a very good start. She's waiting for a score, and there it is, 9.975. Next up from the United States, 17-year-old Sandy Woolsey in the vault. And Sandy's really been the Cinderella story of these world championships. She has performed beyond everyone's expectations. And that landing shows you just how solid she's been. She has only competed three other times in international competition. And this Yurchenko vault was terrific. A round off onto the board. Notice the position in the air. And look at her spot that landing. Boom. Sandy making a statement for the American team. Hey, we've got more guns than just Brandy Johnson and her score, 9.975. 